communication ways. Are we just feasible elections? Are we kept in? Well, as a lawyer, um, I'm very interested in democracy and the de democratic processes. And I think that Venezuela is an example to the world on how uh, elections should be run rather than uh, the demonization that is happening around the world of, of the Venezuelan electoral system. I think it's second to none and something that the Venezuelan uh, people can be very proud of. Do I trust the electoral system? Absolutely. I mean, I've heard all the reports um, that it's a completely robust system and that will guarantee a free and fair election. I think that's uh, something to be recognised and I want um, uh, obviously the UK um, and all the West to recognise um, that there's a free and fair democracy in Venezuela and that when uh, hopefully when Chavez wins the election, which I'm sure he will do looking at the polls, um, that they completely respect that and respect um, uh, what is a democratic movement for social change in Venezuela. But the trade union movement in Britain and internationally always looks to genuinely independent uh, electoral organisations and human rights organisations uh, for a lead. And what's clear is that the elections uh, following the failed coup have been free and fair elections and that clear majorities have been won. Uh, so I don't think there can be any doubt uh, from any credible source uh, that uh, the elections have been free and fair and democratic. Para mí es un acto de solidaridad en el pueblo de Venezuela y el desarrollo del pueblo de Venezuela para educación, para salud, uh, para empleo, para las casas también. Y más importante es una inspiración para el pueblo de toda América Latina, una inspiración, una liberación del capitalismo, una liberación de la opresión. It's a very, very important election. Um, we see this as um, really cementing the, the left advance in Latin America, especially as, have, as we've had setbacks in Honduras and Paraguay in the last year or two. So it's very, very important that, that Chavez wins, not just for Venezuela, but for the left um, in Latin America generally. I think it can only go from strength to strength. I think the solidarity that's been shown between the countries of Alba, Cuba, Venezuela and Bolivia to, together and others are marching forward to build something totally extraordinary which will show the rest of the world how you can take a stand against imperialism. In 1973, I Yo votaría por el candidato que está por la eliminación de la pobreza. Yo estaría por el candidato que está por la multipolaridad a nivel mundial. Yo estaría por el candidato que está por el progreso. Yo estaría por el candidato que está por la inclusión de los indígenas, de las comunidades negras, de los afrodescendientes y de la expansión de la democracia y el progreso social. El candidato, por lo tanto, se llama Hugo Chávez Frías. when things in the West and in England in particular are very bad for ordinary people, uh, the government's cutting everything, I work in education, they've cut education in this country, I think it's a beacon of hope to see a government that actually invests in ordinary people and gives ordinary people some hope for a better future when we're looking at worse futures here. The consequences would be all the, all the gains of uh, Chavez's leadership in terms of health care, in terms of assistance for the poor, and using Venezuela's resources for the people of Venezuela will be rolled back and he'll be at the behest of uh, multinational companies and those who are hostile to the kind of social projects that's taking place in Venezuela. Great.